Astronomers study celestial objects, so the stars, the planets, planets around other stars, galaxies, the origins of the universe, and really anything having to do with the, the sky above. My area is studying planets around other stars. We call them exoplanets or extracellular planets. And it's very interesting because for hundreds of years we only knew of the planets in our own solar system. And that meant that all our ideas about how planets formed, what they're like, what they might be like elsewhere, were based on our limited knowledge of the solar system. And now that we know of hundreds of planets around other stars, we're beginning to get a more complete picture of the whole variety of planets that are out there, different types of planets that aren't in the solar system that have no analog, and so it's a, a very exciting field to be in. Oh, well, there's a couple of ways. The most obvious one is just taking a picture and looking. It turns out that's one of the hardest ways, and so there's only a few planets that have been detected that way. In most cases, we observe indirect effects. So things like the tug of the star or the, on the planet and the planet on the star causing the star's motion, and we can detect that motion uh, through the Doppler effect. So if you hear a train going by and the pitch go as it goes by, it's the same effect with the starlight rather than the train sound. <laughs> Uh, and then others, we actually see the planet passing in front of the star. And so we see the star's light decrease as the planet's in front, and then increase as the planet goes all the way by. And those are the two methods that have found the most planets to date. I've always been interested in astronomy. I, I was fascinated as a kid. I think there was the Voyager mission. They were having encounters with Uranus and Neptune. Lots of pretty pictures that were very accessible uh, to, to young folks who didn't, didn't quite understand all the science at the time. And, and that sort of got me excited. And so the ability to take that excitement for the planets our own solar system and use it to now be studying planets around other solar systems has, has been a, a real thrill. Well, I'd say one of the good things about being an astronomer is, uh, despite the fact that sometimes you have to stay up late at night and work long hours, that most of the time what we do is pretty fun. Uh, so, so that, you know, it's both a job and a hobby. Uh, I, you know, I, I like food, eating, cooking, uh, other things too. The things that I have to do anyway, I might as well do well, right?